a 70 year old retired t uh, teacher is suing a Florida based credit union for calling the police on her. Uh, that's interesting. So now uh, Linda Stevens uh, is accusing mid Florida credit union of uh, calling the police on her uh, for uh, complaining about some of her own money going missing. So she files this lawsuit, uh, and in it, she claims that she had sought help from the credit union on three different separate occasions uh, after a $600 ATM deposit in which she needed to make her mortgage payment failed to show up in her account. So apparently there was a mechanical issue with the ATM. The money was not showing up on her account. And so she's like, hey, I, I, I need you to fix this. Oh, don't worry. They said, we're working on it. Okay. Uh, that's the first time. And she shows up again. Hey, it, you still don't have this fixed. I, is there an ETA on this? Oh, yeah, no, we're just need like another hour. Uh, another hour, two, it'll be done by the end of the day. Don't worry about it. And a third time, she's like, hey, is it is it fixed yet? I really need to make this mortgage payment. Still not fixed. Uh, and it, the situation then devolved from there. So now on the third occasion, the lawsuit alleges that the branch manager came into the office and demanded that Ms. Stevens calm down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Yeah, we know you don't have your uh, money and that you need this money, uh, but yet you're just going to have to calm down. Okay, you're just going to have to calm down. Ms. Stevens, uh, according to the lawsuit, had pleaded with mid-Florida employees requesting access to the money that she had deposited. Which, by the way, they, they found they later they pulled it out of the machine. So it was in there. Instead of assisting her with the transaction, the branch manager called the police on Ms. Stevens. The lawsuit then states the responding officers had come in with their hands on their weapons, their guns, saying that they believed that somebody on the phone had said that a person had a gun. She was then arrested. Uh, as and, and while she was being hauled away, none of the mid-Florida employees had said a word in her defense or tried to explain the situation. The lawsuit sen then says officers ended up breaking her nose while throwing her into the police cruiser and was forced and that she was forced to spend the night nude on a cement floor of the jail annex cell. Jesus, what is going on here? Remember, this woman is 70 years old. How much of a threat is she? Honestly. Um, now, that said, the police report is vastly different. The, that report describes Stevens as irate and yelling about having a gun. Stevens, they said, was advised by the employees that they did not want to have to trespass her. Again, remember, she's there to ask, hey, I, I, I need help. I put money in here. And it's not there, and I need that as part of my mortgage payment. I got to pay this bill, and, and I've been here several times. Apparently, according to the police report, they asked her to leave several times and made multiple requests to get her to go. The defendant then raised her voice and began screaming about a gun. I advised her, this is the police officer again, that we were in a bank and that she needed to stop screaming about a gun she immediately raised her voice, became louder, and began to repeatedly scream, gun, 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 over and over. I, I do not believe this at all. I, I do not believe the police. <laughs> Nobody's that stupid. I understand that people can get pretty mad when it comes to money. Sure. At the same time, police have been known to uh, fabricate. Especially in the cases of black women. No, I'm not saying uh, that it isn't possible that Miss Stevens did freak out. Of course, of course, right? But but it's also possible that the bank didn't want to fix the problem and just thought it was easier to call the cops than this black woman. Now, uh, Miss Stevens uh, had explained that she did not have a gun, never owned a gun, never fired a gun. I don't know where the gun thing uh, came from. I don't have a gun. Never had a gun. I wasn't screaming about a gun. Where's this coming from? Now, Mid Florida uh, Credit Union released a statement uh, saying this. Police were contacted to calm an escalating situation with an irate customer. 
Oh, of course, the angry black woman, right? Um, because we have an obligation to provide a secure environment for all members in the branch conducting financial transactions. Stevens says in her lawsuit, however, that a regional manager had met her privately after her arrest when she had uh, gotten home because she got released the day after. Uh, and this branch manager, or I'm sorry, regional manager, uh, had uh, allegedly apologized and gave her partial credit towards her mortgage payment. So, look, I, I don't know exactly what happened. There's two conflicting stories, right? Well, there's one way to get to the bottom of this. Banks and credit unions are filled with the brim with cameras. Let's see the tape. I mean, it's very simple. Let's get the tape. Let's see the tape. I mean, it's very simple. Now, knowing that banks are filled with cameras <laughs> uh, and that the fact that this woman is still uh, suing, and by the way, has is being represented by uh, prominent civil rights attorney Benjamin Crumb, shows you that, uh, uh, again, she might have a pretty good case. She's got to know that that videotape exists. Uh, and then once, you know, in cross-examination, for example, that gets admitted as evidence, it's going to show what happens. Makes me think that, again, she has a pretty, pretty good case. Uh, if the surveillance shows her getting a little bit mad, which anybody would be, understandably so, because that's her money, and the staff decided to blow it out of proportion and call the police officers, that's not going to look good in the bank. It's going to look real bad, and uh, they're going to have to pay up. We'll see what happens. But uh, if for me, I'm thinking it's probably, uh, you know, going to go in her favor. 